Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be making this super cute heart cushion. This is my heartstring cushion pattern. You can find the written pattern on the Maker website. If you do prefer to follow along with a written pattern, it is absolutely free. Otherwise, you can of course just follow along with this video. This cushion is obviously a super cute Valentine's Day gift idea. Um, I have left it a little bit late this year, but it is something to keep in mind for next year but Mother's Day is also coming up here in Australia so this would make an absolutely amazing Mother's Day gift as well otherwise you can do what I did and just make it for yourself because why not So for this pattern, I am using Maker's A Blend Moment Yarn. This is a cotton acrylic blend and it's equivalent to an eight ply or a DK weight. You can of course use any yarn you like. I would recommend using either a cotton or a cotton blend just so it holds its shape a little bit better. But of course you can use whatever you like. I've gone with two colors here. So I've got this pink color, which is called Rhodonite. And then I've got this red, which we're gonna use for the border. And that one's called Garnet. I am then going to be using a four millimeter crochet hook and you are also going to need some polyfill. So something to stuff your cushion with. Then you will also need some scissors and a darning needle, which you basically need for everything you make. So to get started, we're gonna start with the Rhodonite. So the pink color and just finding that end. Let's see if I can get a perfect center pull. Oh, not too bad, there she is. All right, and we're gonna start with a slip knot and just popping that onto our hook. And we're now going to chain two. Nice and easy. Then we want to skip that first chain and complete one half double crochet in the second chain from our hook. Just like that. Then we're going to chain one, turn our work and complete three half double crochet in that half double crochet. So one, two, three. And this is going to be the point at the bottom of our heart. So we're starting from the bottom and we're gonna work our way up. Now we just wanna chain one and turn our work once again. And we're going to complete two half double crochet in that first stitch. So one, two, then complete one half double crochet in the next stitch and then completing two half double crochet in that third stitch. Chain one and turn our work. And you'll slowly start to see our heart taking shape. So now what we're gonna do is repeat that process until we have a total of 25 rows. So, Basically, we're going to be increasing in the first stitch and increasing in the last stitch. And every stitch in between those, we're just doing one half double crochet. So I'll complete this next row with you guys. So two half double crochet in that first stitch. Then we're working one half double crochet in each stitch until we just have one stitch remaining. So here I am at my last stitch and now we're going to complete an increase. So two half double crochets in that last stitch. Just like that. And like I said, we're just gonna repeat that until we have a total of 25 rows. So increasing into the first stitch and the last stitch of every row. All right, so here I am at the end of row 25. You should have something that's looking a little bit like this. If yours is kind of curling up a little bit and not sitting perfectly flat like mine, 
don't stress, once we have stuffed it, you won't even be able to tell, so don't even worry about it. So for the next step, all we're gonna be doing is completing one half double crochet in every stitch all the way to the end of the row, and we're gonna do that for two rows. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, and I will meet you back here at the end of row 27. All right, here I am at the end of row 27. Now I'm just going to chain one, turn my work, and this next row, so row 28, is going to be another increase row. So we're gonna be increasing in the first and last stitch of the row. So two half double crochets in that very first stitch. We're then gonna complete one half double crochet in every stitch until we have just one stitch remaining. And then we're gonna complete an increase in the very last stitch. Okay, so here I am at the end of row 28. So I've got one stitch remaining. So now I'm just gonna increase into that very last stitch. So completing two half double crochets into that last stitch, chaining one and turning my work. Now, for rows 29 to 35, we're just completing one half double crochet in every stitch. So very basic, very easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will meet you guys back here at the end of row 35. So again, it's just one half double crochet in every stitch until you reach row 35. All right, here I am at the end of row 35. I'm just gonna chain one and turn my work. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna start working on the first, what would I call it? The first hump of the heart. So for this row, we're only gonna be half double crocheting in the next 25 stitches. We're not gonna go all the way to the end. So completing one half double crochet in the next 25 stitches. Okay, so here I am at the end of row 36. So I've just completed one half double crochet in 25 of the stitches. Now we are just chaining one, turning our work. Now we're going to complete a decrease at the beginning and end of the row. And this is just gonna give us some nice shaping so we get that nice curved edge. So we are going to be yarning over, inserting our hook into that first stitch, pulling through, yarning over again, going into the next stitch, pulling our yarn through, yarning over and pulling through every loop on our hook and that is our first decrease. Now what we're gonna do is complete one half double crochet in every stitch until we have two stitches remaining and then we're gonna be completing another decrease. Here I am at the end of that row. So I've now got two stitches remaining. I'm just gonna complete another decrease. Just like that, chaining one and turning our work. So we're now up to row 38. For this one, it's very easy. We're just gonna be completing one half double crochet in every stitch. I've just finished row 38. So just chaining one, turning my work. And now for the next three rows, we're gonna be decreasing again. So decreasing at the beginning of the row and at the end of the row for three rows in a row. So again, I'll just go through the decrease with you. So yarning over inserting your hook into that first stitch, pulling through, yarning over again, finding that next stitch, inserting your hook, pulling through, yarning over, and pulling through every loop on your hook. And now I'm just gonna complete one half double crochet in every stitch until I have two stitches remaining, and then I will complete another decrease at the end of the row. And like I said, we're just gonna repeat that for a total of three rows. So until we get to row 41. Here I am at the end of row 41. So your shaping should look something a little bit like this. Now I'm just gonna chain one, turn my work, and we're now going to be up to row 42. 
Row 42 is just one half double crochet in every stitch. So just completing one half double crochet in every stitch all the way across. Once you've completed row 42, we're just chaining and turning our work of course. And then for row 43, we're gonna start the row with a decrease. So yarning over, inserting our hook, pulling our yarn through, yarning over again, inserting our hook into the next stitch, pulling through, and then yarning over and pulling through every loop on our hook. Then we are going to complete one half double crochet in every stitch until we have four stitches remaining because we are going to be completing two decreases at the end of this row. So here I am with my four remaining stitches. So I'm gonna complete a decrease, followed by another decrease. Just like that. And now we are of course chaining one and turning our work. Now we should be up to row 44. For this row, we are going to be completing another two decreases at the beginning of the row this time. And then another two decreases at the end of the row. So decreasing once and then twice at the beginning of the row, then completing one half double crochet in every stitch until we have four stitches remaining and completing another two decreases. So that's one decrease and another decrease. Chaining one, turning your work, now we're up to row 45 and for this one we're just going to be completing one decrease at the beginning and one decrease at the end. So decreasing at the beginning of the row, completing one half double crochet in every stitch until we have just two stitches remaining and completing one decrease at the end of the row. That is the last row for this side of our heart. So this is what it should be looking like so far. You can see we've now got that nice shaping for our first hump, as I like to call it. So you can now go ahead and fasten off your yarn, making sure it is nice and secure. And now we are going to be moving on to our second hump. So using that exact same yarn that we just used, we're gonna flip our work over. So the hump that we just completed is now on the right hand side and we're gonna be joining our yarn in here to complete the second hump. So we're just gonna start off with a slip knot of course, pop that onto our hook. We're gonna count 25 stitches from this edge, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So technically you should just be leaving one stitch unworked in between this section here and where your next section begins. So I'm just going to join in with a slip stitch. Just like that. Now I'm just going to chain one and our first stitch will be going into that very same stitch that we just joined into. So for this first row, we're just going to be completing one half double crochet in every stitch all the way to the end of the row. So yarning over, going into that stitch that we just joined into, completing a half double crochet and now we can move on to the next stitch and complete one half double crochet in every stitch all the way to the end of the row. So here I am at the end of row one, chaining one, turning my work, and the next row is gonna be a decrease row. So we're gonna be doing one decrease at the beginning of the row and one decrease at the end of the row. Okay, so here I am with two stitches remaining. I'm just gonna complete a decrease. and chaining one and turning my work. 
Now we're up to row three. So for row three, we're just completing one half double crochet in every stitch. So nice and easy. I've just finished row three. So I'm chaining one and turning my work. I know you're probably sick of hearing me say that. So now for rows four, five, and six, we're gonna be decreasing at the beginning and the end of the row. So just one decrease at the beginning and ends of those three rows. Here I am at the end of row six. Chaining one, turning my work, and now row seven is just one half double crochet in every stitch. For row eight, we're going to be completing two decreases at the beginning of the row. So decrease, then another decrease. Then we're going to complete one half double crochet in every stitch until we have two stitches remaining. And then we will be completing one decrease at the end of the row. So two decreases at the beginning of this row and one decrease at the end. So here I am with two stitches remaining and just completing one decrease chaining one and turning. Now we're up to row nine and this row has two decreases at the beginning of the row and two decreases at the end of the row. So I've just completed two decreases. I'm now going to complete one half double crochet in every stitch until we have four stitches remaining. And now I will be completing two decreases. just like that. Now we're up to row 10, so chaining one and turning. And this is our last row. And it is also a decrease row, so we're going to be completing one decrease at the beginning of the row and one decrease at the end of the row. So completing one half double crochet in every stitch until you have two stitches remaining, just like this. And now I'm completing one decrease at the end of the row. And that's our last row. So that's our second hump done. So we can now fasten off our yarn once again. And that is your first heart complete. You can now go ahead and sew in these ends, or you can be sneaky like me and not sew them in at all and just shove them to the inside of your cushion once you seam everything together. Um, so you now want to go ahead and make another one of these. So if you need to go back, rewind the video and follow that exact same method to create another one of these hearts. Then once you've got two ready to go, come back here and I will show you how to seam them together and add in the border. All right, once you have your two heart panels ready to go, we are now going to seam them together. So what you wanna do is lay them on top of each other, but you want the right sides facing out. Both sides should look exactly the same, but if you do have a side that you think looks better for whatever reason, or if you're like me and you've got some ends poking out on this side where you've joined in more yarn or something like that, Make sure that that is on the inside. So you wanna flip it over and make sure the good side is facing out, okay? And same with the other side as well. So you want the right sides out. Once you've done that and you think it's all looking good, we are now going to join. So turning it upside down. We're now gonna join our red yarn or in my case, the garnet color into the tip of our heart there. Okay, so I'm just starting off with a slip knot and popping that onto my hook. And then I'm gonna find that point and I'm just gonna insert my hook through there and join my yarn with a slip stitch. I'm just gonna chain one just to give us some wiggle room. And now what we're gonna do is working in single crochets, we're just gonna single crochet all around the edge of our heart until we get back to where we've just started. So making sure you're going through both layers, of course, because we wanna join these two layers together. 
and just working into the edge there with single crochets all the way around. The total stitch count that you have around the edge won't really matter. The most important thing is just to make sure your stitches are spaced nice and evenly, so not too close together and not too far apart. Okay, so we're just working through both layers all around the edge until we get back to where we began. But I will meet you here at this section because it can be a little bit tricky. It's still very, very easy, but I will meet you here in between our two humps. All right, so here I am in between the two humps or as I like to call it, um, at the butt crack of the heart. <laughs> Um, this is still going to work exactly the same. It's, it's very, very easy, but I can understand how it would be a little bit intimidating um, for some of you. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. I'm basically just doing the exact same thing I've been doing for the rest of the heart and just single crocheting in through the edges. Keep in mind, we are going to be adding on some like ruffling. So this row you won't really be able to see it so if it's not absolutely perfect don't stress you're barely going to see it anyway but again you're just going through both layers into the edge just like that there's really nothing to it but I thought I would just show you guys how I did it just to clarify so it should just look something like that Okay, so I've been lying to you, I'm so sorry. Um, we're actually not going to continue all the way to where we started because we of course need to leave a hole so we can stuff it. So what we're gonna do is I recommend leaving a hole big enough for you to fit your hand in for now because it just makes it easier when trying to get up here to put the stuffing in. So what we're gonna do don't fasten your yarn off because we are going to continue working with that, but I'm just going to pull up a loop just so it doesn't come undone while we're stuffing our cushion. Then you're going to take your polyfill and we're just going to start stuffing. So this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure I don't really need to explain how to do this, but like I said, it is easier if you leave a hole big enough for you to fit your hand in, especially just while we're doing these hump sections. So I am gonna stuff as much as I can and then I will meet you back here and I will show you what's next. All right, once you've stuffed your cushion enough that these sections up here are nice and firm or as full as you want them, I'm now just going to close this hole up a little bit um, because it will just make it easier to stuff this little bottom section because you need to get the stuffing right into that point there so it keeps its shape. So I'm just gonna continue single crocheting around the edge just for a few more stitches just to close up this hole. Now that the hole's a little bit smaller, it'll make it easier to stuff this bottom point section. So I'm just gonna do that now, and then I will meet you back here for the fastening up, and then we will start on the beautiful frill around. All right, once you have finished stuffing your cushion, we can now close up this hole. So again, we're just completing single crochets through both layers to seam it together. Now, when you get to this point, you might like to just complete a couple of stitches in that same space there. That's just to help you get around that little corner. And then once we are back to the beginning, all you're gonna do is slip stitch in that very first single crochet to join, just like that. Then we're going to chain three and this chain three will count as our very first double crochet. So now we're gonna be creating that beautiful frill around the edge. So all we're gonna to do to get that effect is complete four double crochet in every single crochet. So it is a little bit of a process, but the finished look is absolutely worth it. So as I mentioned, that will count as our very first double crochet. So in that first stitch, we just need to complete another three double crochets. Now we're just gonna move on to the next single crochet and complete four 
double crochets into that stitch and we're just going to repeat that all the way around. So again, four double crochets into every single crochet. All right, so go ahead and do that and I will meet you back here for the finished result. Alrighty, so as you can see, I have now finished the entire frill or frilling, I don't know what you wanna call it, but here I am at the end. All you're gonna do to finish this off is slip stitch into the top of that chain three that we completed at the very beginning and then we can fasten off. So that's literally all there is to it. Fastening off that end and making sure it's nice and secure. You will then of course need to go and sew in that end. If you've got any other ends that are still hanging out, you will obviously need to sew them in as well. But the great thing about a cushion is you can easily just hide your ends on the inside of the cushion. So what I mean by that is if you take your darning needle and take your chosen end and just thread that end onto your needle, you can now thread this end in under this first layer and hide it on the inside of your cushion rather than having to sew it in properly and go through each stitch and blah 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 you can just hide it on the inside of your cushion so once you've threaded it through that you've only got like a little tiny end there I just take the back of my darning needle and just push that end in and now as you can see, that end is completely hidden on the inside of my cushion. So that's the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you will be notified of all my future videos. But until next time, stay safe, be kind, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.